Hey guys, so I've been wanting to make this Japanese knot, uh, knot bag for a while now, but I couldn't get an actual fabric to make it. But of recent, I just went to my upcycling bag and I found this red material and I was like, yes, it's thick enough to, you know, recreate this bag. So if this is something you'd like to see, please stay tuned to the channel and let's go straight into the tutorial. As you can see, I've already cut out um, a piece from the actual fabric and this is a 15 inches in length by a plenty shell by a lot by um, let's say 10 inches so this is just me removing 9 inches in width I want the length of the bag to be 15 inches and I want the width to be 9 inches so I'm just going to go ahead and um, connect the lines after I connect the lines next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is from one end like this I'm going to be going down by 11 inches go down like this by 11 inches this way I just go down like this by 11 inches and um, I am going to from that 11 inches mark that I made I am going to be going out by 3.5 inches but before that I decided to you know go ahead and cut out my 9 inches so that what I am cutting will actually make sense <laughs> to you my people so from that um, 11 inches that I made markings, I decided to go out by 3 inches this way. As I hope you understand what I am doing. Then I went ahead and connect the lines. So you see? So I went ahead and make a straight marking like this. So that is going to be serving as the short handle. So from that 3 inches in width, I went down... I went... um. From that particular part, I went down by 7 inches and I made my marking. Then I'll go ahead and go down by 7 inches on this other side as well. Then I'll make my marking. Then I'll just go ahead and connect the lines. So I went ahead and connect the lines. So after connecting the lines, from this top 15 inches, I am going to be going out by 3 inches as well. So 3 inches this way and 3 inches this way. Then I'll go ahead and connect the lines then i'll just make a slant curve at this square part so that it will come out a circle instead of a square then i'll just go ahead and cut it out so after cutting this is what it looks like the next i'm going to go ahead and do is to cut a the second body so if you are using maybe a leather you could actually cut out only two because I am sure a leather will be thick enough. But if you are using a fabric like this, I would advise you cut out four so that the fabric itself will be the lining of the of the bag because you wouldn't want another different color to be inside. So this is just me arranging it so that I will not make mistake when I am trying to cut out the other part, the other part, so that I will not go and cut out one part um, twice. So this is what it looks like when I cut out the remaining part. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is to go to my sewing machine and start joining. So I'm going to join the two tops like this and I'm also going to join this other top like this it's, it's a very very simple bag honestly so after i was done joining this is what it looks like the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to arrange it nicely and to put the two bodies right side facing each other and i'll just go ahead and sew the inner part of this bag thank you guys for tuning into the channel once again if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back if you are just tuning into the channel for the very first time thank you for tuning into the channel please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorials because on this channel we have many more amazing tutorials to show you guys so when i was done this is what it looks like i went ahead and turned it inside out please don't forget to make your notch so that that place will come out neat so this is just me trying to arrange it so that i will not make any mistake and any parts will not be poking out when i was done stitching so i'm going to start stitching from that seven inches marking you could make your marking on this right side again seven inches from the bottom then you stop 
as you can see you stop there then you sew this way and you stop there as well so that's how you are going to sew it so when i was done sewing this is um what it looks like so next i'm going to go ahead and do is to turn it to the other side that i am using as the right side so if you notice the handle part is still rough well what you're going to go ahead and do is to just fold it in fold the two sides in this way and just make a top stitch like i said this bag is very very simple and easy you just go to your sewing machine and make a top stitch so when i was done this is what it looks like as you can see our hand is neat and the bag is neat as well so i went ahead and just put some fabric inside so that you will see how big the bag is and then um, if you want to make your own of course you could also add you know uh make alterations on the measurement the small hand goes into the uh, the big hand sorry goes into the big hand and this is basically everything about this tutorial thanks for watching guys